we're going to read to you a book called Mr. Putter and Tabby Walk the Dog by Cynthia Ryland. Chapter One, The Lollipop. Mr. Putter and his fine cat, Tabby, lived next door to Mrs. Teaberry and her small dog, Zeke. Mrs. Teaberry sometimes gave Mr. Putter eggplant for his supper. And Mr. Putter sometimes gave Mrs. Teaberry kiwis for her lunch. They were very happy living side by side. One day, Mrs. Teaberry slipped on a kiwi and hurt her foot. Mr. Putter and Tabby took her to the doctor. The doctor said, this foot needs a rest. No walking Zeke for a week. No walking Zeke for a week, cried Mrs. Teaberry. But who will walk my little lollipop? She always called Zeke her little lollipop. Then Mr. Putter, who had a very soft heart, said, I will walk your little lollipop. Mrs. Teaberry was happy, but she was a little worried. I hope he doesn't tug, she said. Oh no, said Mr. Potter. Zeke won't tug. I hope he doesn't wrap around the trees, she said. Oh no, said Mr. Potter again. Zeke won't wrap. And I hope he doesn't chase other dogs, she said finally, especially the big ones. Oh no, said Mr. Potter for the last time. Zeke is a good dog. Zeke is a fine dog. Mr. Putter looked at the little lollipop. Zeke is a dream dog, Mr. Putter said with a smile. Chapter two, The Nightmare. Zeke was a nightmare. The first day Mr. Putter and Tabby took him for a walk, he tugged, he tugged and tugged and tugged. He tugged Mr. Putter and Tabby through yards and creeks and houses they had never ever been through before. When Mr. Putter and Tabby got home, they had to have some warm milk and pudding and a nap. Zeke is not a dream dog, Mr. Putter said to Tabby when they woke up. Zeke is a nightmare. The second day they took him for a walk, Zeke wrapped around trees he wrapped around an elm tree. He wrapped around a pine tree. He wrapped around a pear tree. And he always wrapped Mr. Putter and Tabby with him. When Mr. Putter and Tabby got home, they had to have some warm milk and popovers and a nap. Zeke is not a dream dog. Mr. Putter said to Tabby when they woke up, Zeke is a nightmare. The third day Zeke chased dogs and he didn't chase little ones, he chased big ones. He chased a Russian wolfhound, he chased a Great Dane, he chased a Saint Bernard, he chased them until they got bored with being chased. Then they turned around and chased Zeke and Mr. Potter and Tabby. The big dogs chased them through the yards 
and creeks and houses they had never been through before. When Mr. Putter and Tabby got home, they had to have some warm milk and shortbread and a nap. Zeke is not a dream dog, Mr. Putter said to Tabby when they woke up. Zeke is a nightmare. And the two of them sat a long time wondering what to do. They weren't sure they could live through four more days with the lollipop. Chapter three, the dream dog. Here's the deal, Zeke, Mr. Putter said on the fourth day. You be a good dog, and every day after our walk, you'll get a nice surprise. Zeke was a smart dog. He knew what a deal was. The fourth day, he didn't tug, he didn't wrap, and he didn't chase. He was a dream dog. So Mr. Putter and Tabby took him to the Frosty Freeze. Zeke had a hot fudge sundae with extra cherries. The fifth day, Zeke didn't tug, and he didn't wrap, and he didn't chase. He was a dream dog today. So Mr. Putter and Tabby took him to the swimming pool. He jumped off the diving board 15 times. On the sixth day, Zeke was a dream dog and he went to the carnival. On the seventh day, Zeke was a dream dog and he went to the zoo. When Mr. Potter and Tabby took Zeke home for the last time, Mrs. Teaberry asked, was Zeke a good lollipop? And Mr. Potter, who had brought her pecans instead of kiwis, smiled the biggest smile. He said, Zeke was a dream lollipop. Then he and Tabby said goodbye and went home and had a party. The end.